Let's say you have some Google Slides that are plain, say rebrandable, and you want to add some design to them so they look really nice for delivering a course, whether it's presenting or recording video. Here I have an example. I'm going to show you three different ways in this video for adding some design and even some options for presenting and recording your slides as video. Here I have one from our ChatGPT Content Creation Essential Skills course, which comes with Google Slides that are all rebrandable and editable. Now, before you do anything, make sure you make a copy and keep an original and then make a copy. So I'm going to make a copy of this entire presentation. I'm going to put it into another folder, call it something that you'll remember and then make a copy. And then you can start working on this and adding designs. The first one I'll show you is using Google Slides itself to make edits to it, to add your own design theme. To add some design here, you can go into Slide, and then you have an option to edit the current theme, which right now is just a plain theme, or change the theme. Google Slides does come with a few example themes, not a huge selection, so you could just pick one simple one and then adjust the colors. And the way to do that so that it's throughout is to go into Slide and then Edit Theme. If you go to the very top, you can edit the theme there by, say, changing the color of the fonts. You have to click on the three dots. I can change the text color to, I already have some custom colors in here, but you can pick something and say, make it blue and that's going to apply it to all the different slide layouts. So for instance, I don't like this background color, so I can click change the background and change the color to something else. Say I want just a pale green, for instance. Done. And then it's changed it there. So any slide now that has this particular layout will have this design on it. So we can change a few others here, just change the colors to something that you like. Here's a drop down fill color. I could change, and it's going to change the background in there. Say I want to change these lines to something else, I can change that as well, and it'll do it on any slides that have that. So let's actually change that background to something else. I don't like this green background. Let's make it something simple that's easy to look at maybe a light gray and play around with that a little bit to get something that you like. And then if we close it, exit out, you'll see that that design has been applied to all the different slides and you can keep going and make any other changes that you want, change the font color. So you can make design wide changes in that main theme just by going to slide and then edit theme or change the theme. Or then once you have the main ones, you can go into individual slides if you want something just on that slide. But if you want it across the theme, like say this text is too small, you definitely want to go into slide, edit theme, and then say here the font is way smaller than I would want. So I would go in to this drop down because not everything's showing and say firstly I want everything to be Verdana so that'll change it and then I want the size to be much bigger as well then I would click on these three drop downs and go over to the left you'll see a plus and a minus right now be there's no number in there because the bullet points are all different sizes I can just click the plus so that everything gets bigger altogether, and I can just keep going until I'm happy with it, maybe adjust the size of the box so that it looks good, and then close it out to see how that looks. You might have to reapply to all and then close it up. And now you can see that any slide that was in that layout is going to have a bigger text on it. And that's how you do the slide design directly in Google Slides. You can, if you want, go over and present right inside Google Slides also just by clicking on Slideshow. And if you click the down arrow, you'll get a presenter view. And that would have any speaker notes that you've put in there. And you would just 
behind here, either drag this over to a different screen, or you can, instead of doing the presenter view, I'm going to click escape to get out of here. You can have some speaker notes in front of you. For instance, with this course, we give speaker notes. So I would want that on a separate screen. This is just an example of the speaker notes and they're extra bullet points in here so that I can refer to. Maybe I'd put it on a tablet or print it out so that I have it in front of me and can refer to while using the actual Google Slides to do the presentation. Now let's look at how you can import these into Canva to create an extra design, something different with some different options there and even record and present inside Canva. I would again make a copy Right? I've already made a copy, but you do it the same way, entire presentation. And then I'm going to go over to that plain copy and show you how you would do it in Canva. Firstly, if you have something brandable that has, say, the logo on it, you're going to want to get rid of that because it will show up strangely in Canva. You can add it to, say, just the first slide, unless you really want it on every single slide. But in doing these presentations, it's best to just have it on the beginning one so it's not distracting. To do that, again, I'd go into the main theme and go into edit theme because I want to keep it plain. And I'm going to go to the very first slide and delete that logo. Then I can close it and you'll see that none of them have the logo any longer, right? So it's totally plain. Now I'm going to go over to Canva and you go into, you might be at the home page if you've just logged in, you want to go into your projects. And if you click add new over on the right, you can import from an app. So you need to click on that app. You may have to connect Google Drive initially, but that's one option or Dropbox. But Google Drive is what we're talking about now to import those slides. So make sure you've gone through any steps that it will prompt you for to import from Google Drive. Connect it to your Google Drive. Then go find your folder. And I called that one Demo 2 Canva Export. Have it named something you'll remember. And I'm going to upload that to Canva. And it's working on it. It's uploading it. And I can click on View or just go back into projects and let it refresh and it should show up. And then I go down to designs and there it is. It may still be loading a bit. You open it up and then you can start adding any design styles in here that you want. So for instance, I can go into styles and I have a brand kit in a paid version of Canva. You can do that so I could change to my fonts automatically. I can change the colors to various colors. So say I want a dark background, I could do that or do something light. I prefer something a little lighter. So play around with that. Or you can use some of their themes and just try those out and see what you like. And even with their themes, if you don't like the colors, you can kind of adjust through there. And there's little arrows here. You can just shuffle through different combinations. But I'm going to stick with mine and I'm going to find that lighter background. I kind of like that one. And then you can play with different layouts as well. So it has suggestions. Again, this is in the design tab, but it'll give you some suggestions. For instance, that one's not bad. But you have to also to make sure that style applies to everything. You will need to say apply to all slides. So you can see here, I only did it on the first one. Let's go back and make sure it's on all of them. If you look further down on the page, you click apply to all pages. And now that's added my fonts everywhere. And I can shuffle through and find that combination I liked or use something different but here I can apply it to all pages and then go back to layouts and play around with different layouts. They don't always work that well. Some of them tend to be a little bit tiny on the text. So you'll have to play with those and try different things that look good. And just some of them have an image placeholder. You could do that. For instance, on the first slide, you might want to find an image that works well on that. So rather than having these different shapes, 
I could go into one of them. Let's find one that looks good. This one has a little bit bigger. I'd still need to change that text, but maybe I'd change the image, go into elements on the left, and search for, say, robot content. I tried that before. And you can see what comes up on free and paid ones. It'll have a little crown if it's a paid one. So if you have a paid account, you can go in also and just make sure you only have the pro paid account. This way you'll have ones that are paid ones, usually higher quality. So if I go through all the photos and see what we have here, some different options. Uh, this one's not bad. And sometimes it gives some magic recommendations of other things. I can drag that into that image placeholder and it'll show up. That's not bad. And it'll give other recommendations too. Actually, I like this one even better. That's kind of cute. It's a robot at a typewriter. And you can do that at all your different slides. But there are a lot of slides in here and you don't want people too distracted from you actually speaking. Don't spend your time going crazy with these designs. Just focus on a few, like maybe the module title ones or introductions or sections. So that's how you would do it in Canva. And once you're all done, you could actually present from Canva. You would go into the present at the top and then you can either present full screen or do presenter view. If you have two monitors, it's going to be easiest to do it that way. You'd click presenter view and then what it's going to do is give you full screen mode for the audience window. So you drag this one over to wherever you are going to be recording the screen that's going to be recording or presenting. And then you'd have your speaker notes showing up on a different screen as well. I'm not going to go into all of that because I do it in other videos as well. I'm going to press escape. It takes me back. If you are doing something like this particular course where you need to share your screen as well, it's easiest to use a different type of screen recorder like a, a Snagit or doing it in Zoom or say a live stream like StreamYard, Squadcast, things like that, where you can just be flipping around from on camera to slides to screen. I do that all the time and it works really well. And of course, in Canva, you also have the option of just presenting and recording where you're just recording yourself talking through the slides and you can have your image on there as well. But anything where you need to share the screen to show a demo, you would need a different application for that. So that was the Canva option. The last one I want to talk about is for using PowerPoint because PowerPoint is still one of the most common ones to use. In that case, I'd go over to file and then download and download the PowerPoint. So I'm, again, I'm going from Google Slides and downloading it is as a PowerPoint and then doing everything in PowerPoint. So I've downloaded it and I'm going to open that up in PowerPoint. And then you're doing it the same as you would do with any PowerPoint file. So to add a design, you could go into just design and click the down arrow and pick one of their built-in themes, any of these. Or if you have a custom one set up, you can do that, make edits to a theme and then save it. So anything edit that you do, you can go into design and then save that theme. Or you can pick one of theirs first, for instance, this one and make some changes to this. You might have some colors that you've saved. I have some custom colors. You can use their built-in ones. If you want to create custom ones, you'd click on customize at the bottom. I'm going to put in mine and you can just start designing different things here. They have some suggested designs in this design tab on the right called designer. You can use that to get some ideas. It won't have as many image options as Canva. But you also have the option of importing a PowerPoint presentation into Canva. So once you're done here and add even more, record it from inside Canva, you could do that too. You just drag it into their home screen. I have a tutorial on that elsewhere on my website. 
but here you can just get some different ideas, apply them. It has graphics as well. Pick any of those. And if you don't like any of them, they have a few more ideas. They're a little limited, but they're pretty good. And then just like with Google Slides, if you do want to make some changes that apply everywhere, then you can go into view up at the top here and view the slide master. You click on slide master and anything you want to have apply across all slides, just like in Google Slides, you go into the top and you want to edit in here. So here, maybe we'll bring this box, this text box down a little because there's a line that's showing in here as part of the theme. I have to move that down, maybe make the text bigger. You'd go up to the top and go to home. Make sure you have the full box highlighted so that you can change the text. There's different text sizes in here. So again, you have to manually do that, but you want all of them to increase the same relatively size. So you click that bigger size to make it bigger and bigger. And same with anything else in here that you might want to get rid of. If you're not sure what layout that particular slide has, you can go to that and then edit it. So let's close the slide master. I go back to slide master on the top, close the slide master, and I can see that these main ones all have a bigger font now. That line moved down, so those were all applied. But say I want to change this one and have this text moved up a little, or have all that orange changed, maybe just on one slide. If I go into layout, you'll see which one it is. It's called section header, right? If I go directly into view and then slide master, it'll automatically have that one highlighted. So I know that's the one I want to change. In this case, I'm going to bring that text up a little bit higher just by dragging the box up. And now it's closer to the line. And I could also just change the orange at the bottom, but that seems to be a master slide color. So I'm going to go back up to the top, highlight that. You can see it's all highlighted now. And I would go into the home tab up here and all the way on the right here, it says shape fill. Sometimes they move these around and it might be in the shape format, but here it's in shape fill and say, I want to make it a blue background just to be less obvious. It looks like it's changed it on most of them, but still some are orange. So those must have been done manually. Maybe I would have to go in and change that to the blue manually so that they're all the same, same in here. And now if I go back and close the slide master, I have to go back and pick that menu and close it. I probably need to make some more changes in here. For instance, here the line needs to be a bit higher. Again, I'd go into view, slide master, and keep playing with that until I get it where I want. So there the box is too high up and I need to move it down and let's close that. And now it's better. So you can again play with different things in here, different designs, use some of their ideas if you want but don't go too crazy or you'll be wasting your time playing with design rather than actually teaching people and making money from your course. So those are the three options I was going to talk about. There are certainly more and there are different apps, but you will have that core one, the plain one to work with if you get one of our brandable courses like this one on ChatGPT. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.